Hi everybody. I have been picking a few peaches off the tree. And I got my ice water here. I got a few here to go into the boiling bath. I got some jars heating and a couple of pans back there. It's time to can some peaches. So what I'm waiting for here is for my water to get to boiling. It's getting pretty close. And then I'll put the peaches in. I think I've got to blanch them for one minute, but I'm going to double check my book. Okay, and I'm using the Ball Home Preserving Book, and it says 30 seconds to one minute for blanching before you put them into the ice water. So that's what I'll be doing. Well, let me throw this cover on here to give it a little extra boost to get it going. Um, I have not gotten peaches off the tree in well, it's been two years that I did not get peaches. This year, I had thousands of peaches, and I had to literally thin them out and thin them out, and it was unreal, and there was branches I couldn't reach, and those branches have peaches on them that look like grapes, and they're about the size of a golf ball. Um, so I'm gonna have to do some more pruning. I did have a branch break because of the weight so I'm gonna have to be a little better prepared for next year do a little more pruning get those spaced out you know that 8 to 10 inches apart make sure I don't have too many peaches on the weaker branches but I'm looking forward to having canned peaches again I have missed them Okay, there we got our bubbling. Let me grab my phone. Set a timer. I'm gonna set it for one minute. There's 14. I'm going to start the timer. Get a few more in here. Those are a little too yellow yet. Let me grab a few more red ones. So apparently I set my timer for one hour instead of one minute. So we're gonna cancel that and do like 30 seconds more. One hour is way too long. So I'll blanch that and then from that we'll go into the icy cold water, which is right here. I need to move that a little bit closer though. Let's see what I can do. OK, 
Okay, now it's time to get some of these peaches in this water. Mm, let's shut off the timer. Always lay the towel down on the counter because that helps with uh, dripping of water or juice or whatever. And I think I better move that back to the sink now. before I end up taking a bath. Okay, all the peaches are out. Let's run a little cool water over these. And I'll grab probably about 20 peaches for the next batch. Oh, I got there eight. Okay, so the water's boiling. I'm going to need another bowl. Get that water boiling and I'll put another batch of peaches in. And the pot's boiling again, so let's get some more peaches in here. I think that's all I'm going to do for today. I'm going to start my timer for 30 seconds.
So here I'm making my syrup for my peaches. And in the ball canning book, it's got variations whether you want a heavy syrup or a light syrup. And I, I go with the light syrup because the peaches have such good flavor that they really don't need a lot of sugar on them. And this you just need to stir to make sure that your sugar gets all dissolved. And then just bring it to a light boil. And then it will be ready to go into your jars. Okay, you see I've got this um, stirred. It's looking a little bit clearer now. Sugar's all dissolved. We're just waiting for that boil. I've got my lids over here and rings are hot. I've got my jars filled up with water in there and those are hot. So I'm just waiting for my light syrup to be done. So I think while I'm waiting for that to bring to a little bit of boil, I'm going to start cold packing my jars. Okay, so I'm going to start cold packing the jars. Um, I fill my jars with water and put them in the canner here. So that way they are good and hot. Sterilized, all that good stuff. And I have my towel down to catch any of my uh, misses. Get those down in there. Maybe add a few more. And my syrup isn't quite to a boil yet. I had everything going pretty good and I was all ready to get this started and somebody knocked on the door and needed some hay for their goats and my mother-in-law called needed some help with her phone. My husband came home and needed some help unloading some meat. Fortunately I came back in the house because I had all three burners going. My uh, light syrup was uh, pretty much just a sugar cake on the bottom of the pan. So I got that cleaned out and started over again. I got everything shut off. So then when I came back, I started the process again and not quite sure how many I'm going to get. My peaches are a little small and I did about 40. Once I did yesterday, I got seven pints, and I might get four or five today. Yesterday's peaches are, was a little bit bigger.
30 years ago, when I first started canning, I went to a church rummage sale and got this canning pot plus several others and my pickers here to pick the jars out and my little cup here and I got that and plus a box of jars and I think I spent $15 and that was a lot of money for me then but there was no way I was going to get a better deal than that. So, okay. I only got five today. Okay, let's see what we have here. I need a half inch of headspace. And a couple of these are a little bit high, so let me pull a few peaches out of this one. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Okay, I think those are good. Let me get my vinegar to clean off the rims. Also checking for any chips. I was really hoping for seven more, but didn't quite work out. And I forgot to put a couple more rings in the water. So we're going to do that, get those warmed up. In the 
some time, I'll get these in here. And I'll be back. Okay, those have been boiling for a couple minutes now. So I can get those out of my jars. Just finger tighten these, set them in the canner, lower it down, and I already have my water that's um, one inch over the top of the jars there. So that's all ready. I need to bring that to a boil now, so I'll turn that up a little bit. And then I have to boil that for 25 to 30 minutes. So let's get the cover on, and then I guess it's just time to clean up the mess. Okay, let's check the pot. Sounds like it might be boiling. Yeah, looks like we are there. So I am going to set the timer for uh, 25 minutes because I have pints. I think I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit and then we'll see what it looks like in 25 minutes. Okay, our time is up. We're going to take off that lid. And we're going to pull this up. are out. I usually flip them upside down for a minute or so. And I have to tell you, these pot holders were my mother's back when I was a kid. I remember them from 1970. So they're, and I'm betting they're older than that. I'm betting they're from the 60s. Um, and I have been using them since I left home. And they're still my favorite. But peaches are looking good. We'll let them set a little bit, then I'll flip them back over and uh, and uh, let them start popping. Well, I ended up with a dozen pints of peaches. Not too bad. I still have this many over here on the counter to ripen a little bit more. 
and there's probably 20 times that on the tree. So I'm going to be having other people come in and pick peaches so we can try to get these peaches all taken care of. <laughs>